spring cleaning in the Schaub family's garden. There's plenty of work for both of them this Friday morning. But sometimes things don't go to plan. Because of the repeated pain in the kidney area, Mr. Schaub suspects he has a urological problem. Persuaded by his wife, he calls Euroviva, where he's given the next available appointment. A short time later, Mr. Schaub is at Euroviva. Dr. Krauser welcomes the patient and first obtains a general idea of his state of health. Wir haben ja bei Ihnen, als Sie gekommen sind, etwas Urin abgenommen und wir haben dort festgestellt, dass sich eine Spur Blut im Urin befindet. The urine analysis confirms their suspicion that the symptoms described may be caused by urine retract stones. Stein im oberen Harntrakt. Dr. Krauser recommends making a physical examination of his patient to locate the source of the problem. Untersuchung des oberen Harntraktes mittels eines CTs anschließen. So, jetzt schaue ich noch mal im Rahmen der körperlichen Untersuchung und im Ultraschall, wie sich die Beschwerden präsentieren. Ne? Wenn ich hier drücke, tut es nicht allzu doll weh. Ne? Mr. Schaub has intermittent but constantly recurring pain on the left side. With the ultrasound, the doctor tries to exclude other possible sources of pain in the abdomen. Geht's Ihnen gut, Herr Schaub? Ja, sehr gut. Since all the organs so far look normal, Dr. Krauser refers the patient to the affiliated radiology department for a computerized tomography, or CT scan, for further diagnosis. Okay. Wird Sie verstehen? Mein Name ist Schaub, ich habe einen Termin für das CT. The CT scan generates sectional images of a body from multiple X-ray images taken from different directions. Kidney or ureteral stones can thus be detected or ruled out with a high degree of accuracy. Herr Schaub, Sie haben mittlerweile das ambulante CT durchgeführt. A short while later, Mr. Schaub is back from the scan and Dr. Krauser shows him the ureteral stone found by the CT. He explains the problem with a simple illustration. The kidneys are organs in the urinary system, which are arranged as a pair. One function of the kidneys is the excretion of the end products of metabolism by producing urine. This is excreted from the body through the urinary tract. Kidney stones are formed when there is an increase in the concentration of urinary elements, which are not easily soluble. These elements begin to form deposits that once they reach a certain size, can no longer pass through the urinary tract. If the stones migrate into the ureter, they can get stuck in tighter spots. When the ureter tries to carry the stones further, this leads to cramping of the system, which causes extreme pain in the patient, known as renal colic. During the consultation, Dr. Krauser explains the possible methods of treatment and in this case proposes the destruction of the kidney stone with laser treatment. He agrees to an appointment with Mr. Schaub before the consultation is over. A week later, Mr. Schaub arrives at Euroviva for his appointment and he's immediately given a warm welcome and taken to his room. Shortly afterwards, Mr. Schaub is visited by the anesthesiologist, who takes his time in explaining the procedure and the options for anesthesia with him. Mr. Schaub wants a local anesthetic. There is no problem with agreeing to this option. A little later, Mr. Schaub is in the operating theater, where he's in the care of five specialists. Dr. Krauser first introduces a thin instrument, known as an endoscope, under visual control through the urethra and bladder into the lower ureter. When he reaches the kidney stone, he can start to destroy the stones with a laser inserted through the working channel. 
In this process, the stones are broken down to such a size that the fragments can be passed normally through the ureter in the urine. If there is significant reactive swelling of the mucous membrane, it is sometimes necessary to insert a uteral stent, also known as a pigtail. The aim of this uteral stent is to ensure that the urine can drain again, which prevents the dangerous combination of infection and urinary retention. The pigtail can usually be removed after a week. Two days later, Mr. Schaub is back home. His wife is delighted because the couple have planned a golfing holiday in Italy. And it looks like her husband can enjoy his holidays without any pain.